Today I'm going to be showing you guys exactly what I feed my plants, the ratios I use and some common mistakes to avoid when mixing our nutrients. It's super simple, it doesn't use any real expensive fancy products and gives us really great results. So keep watching and I'll show you everything step by step. For hydroponics we want a fertilizer that's 100% water soluble and provides all the essential nutrients that our plants need. These fertilizers, they usually come in two or three parts, and what I'm using is a three-part solution. So right here we have the Master Blend Tomato Formula that provides our phosphorus, potassium, and micronutrients. Our calcium nitrate provides our calcium and nitrogen, and our magnesium sulfate provides our magnesium and sulfur. So there's a reason why these nutrients aren't all sold in one package and we'll get more into that when we mix our nutrients. Today I'm going to be mixing a 120 gallon barrel of water and when I'm mixing water tanks this size I like to dissolve my nutrients into a jug first and what I like to do is I'll just put the jug onto my scale and then I'll weigh the nutrients directly in the jug. The ratios I use per gallon of water is 4 grams of calcium nitrate, 2.25 grams magnesium sulfate, and 4 grams of the tomato master blend. For my 120 gallon tank, I'll be adding 480 grams of calcium nitrate. Two hundred and seventy grams of magnesium sulfate, and four hundred and eighty grams of the tomato master blend. So now that we've weighed out our nutrients, we're just going to add warm water to dissolve them. Be careful not to use water that's too hot, as this could damage some of the nutrients and make them unavailable to your plant. Once you add the water, shake until everything is fully dissolved. Okay, now everything is fully dissolved and we're ready to add the nutrients to our water tank. The reason why we dissolve our nutrients individually and don't mix them in concentrated form is to avoid a chemical reaction that can occur between our nutrients. So this white stuff you see at the bottom, that's the reaction that has occurred. And essentially that's nutrients that will no longer dissolve and not be available to your plant. So it's really important to follow the steps and never mix our nutrients in a concentrated form. So I have my water tank here filled with water and the first thing I'm gonna do is add the Master Blend tomato formula. Now we could add the magnesium sulfate. And we're just going to let that mix up first before we add our calcium nitrate. And right now I'm using a recirculating pump just to move the water around and mix it. Now that it's mixed, we're going to add our calcium nitrate. And we're just going to let that recirculate and mix until we test our EC and pH. Now that we've mixed our nutrients, we want to test the EC and pH and the EC is 2.6, which is exactly where we want it for this recipe, and 6.1 is the pH, which is in range. When we're testing our pH, it's important to wait until the reading stabilizes to get an accurate reading of the actual pH. And if our pH isn't in the accurate range, then we might need to add a product that either lowers or raises the pH. In most cases, we would need to lower the pH and phosphoric acid in small amounts is a good option to do so. In my situation, I don't need to add any pH adjusters because after I add my fertilizer, the pH is naturally in the proper range. You've probably seen tons of hydroponic products for sale 
claiming to boost growth and my recommendation is to skip most of them. A lot of them are just expensive products that we don't need. What's important is that we focus on the basics like nutrition and environment. Now that we have our nutrient formula ready, the next thing we want to focus on is our irrigation. That's the next step that we need to focus on to really get the best results out of our plants. Well, hopefully this video was helpful and I'll see you guys in the next one.